Picture this. A black hole's horizon fizzing like soda, tiny ghost particles slipping out into the universe, neutrinos, invisible, almost untouchable, maybe, just maybe, whispers of Hawking radiation. Okay, shock first, proof second, Hawking's 1974 idea goes like this. Space isn't empty. It seethes with virtual particle pairs popping in and out of existence. Right on the edge of a black hole, one particle can fall in while the other escapes. To make that escape legal, the black hole pays the energy bill so it loses mass. Translation, black holes evaporate, slow death in trillions of years. The monster whispers its end. Radiation's revenge. Now the news you heard. LIGO's GW250114, detected January 14, 2025. It's the clearest gravitational wave we've ever heard with an SNR around 77 to 80. That signal lets scientists test Hawking's black hole area theorem, the rule that the total event horizon area can't shrink in a merger. And the data? It matched. Two black holes merged, the horizon grew, and the universe basically said, yeah, Hawking's area law checks out. But here's the crucial bit. Area theorem is not Hawking radiation. GW250114 didn't detect neutrinos or evaporation. It proved the no shrinking rule in mergers, not the slow leak that makes black holes fade. So where does the neutrino buzz come from? Separate lines of research. Teams analyzing ultra-high energy neutrinos, think 2 on 20 PeV scale, have floated a bold idea, a tiny primordial black hole formed in the early universe could end its life in a rapid hawking burst. That explosion would spray particles, including neutrinos, far across space. MIT physicists even laid out a theoretical case that a record-setting neutrino might be the calling card of one such dying black hole. That's not LIGO. That's a different detector, a different sky message. So let's stitch the story together without mixing signals. LIGO's GW250114, the best proof yet that black hole horizons obey Hawking's area rule during mergers. Separately, ultra-energetic neutrinos might, just might, be our first crack at Hawking radiation from a primordial black hole's last gasp. If both hold, the picture is wild. Black holes grow when they merge, yet shrink when they evaporate, build, then fade, roar, then whisper. I'm imagining that horizon glowing in blues, fizzing at the edge, while a clean gravitational waveform hums under it, waveforms on one side, particle sims on the other.